Home of the most intense proton beam in the world when it opened its doors in 1972, the Los Alamos Neutron Science Center is sought out by scientists from around the world for a variety of purposes. These include studying interactions in the atom, creating isotopes for cancer treatment, and even peering inside a Tyrannosaur skull. A linear particle accelerator creates a beam of particles and uses electric fields spaced throughout to accelerate them. There are three sections. The injector system provides the protons and hydrogen ions and forms them into beams. Magnets direct the beam to the second section of the accelerator. The second section is made up of a series of drift tube linic tanks. Within each tank, an alternating electric field continuously accelerates the protons. After passing through the electric field 165 times, the protons reach 40% the speed of light. At this point, a 100 million electron volt beam can be diverted to the isotope production facility which develops radioisotopes vital for medicine, industry, and research. Scientists are currently developing actinium-225, a radioisotope with promise for destroying tumors from prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, melanoma, leukemia, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The third section of the accelerator is a half mile long. Cavities containing an electric field continuously push the protons forward. The beam focused by magnets and cooled by water at up to 800 million electron volts until it reaches 84% the speed of light. Once the particles reach top speed, magnetic fields direct them to their intended target. A beam switchyard delivers the beam to four more distinct centers, in some cases hitting a target to create a neutron source. Those centers contribute to stockpile stewardship, materials testing, and physics discovery science. Whether it's finding answers for national security questions or developing isotopes to take on cancer and other diseases, the Lance Accelerator continues to shape a safer, healthier world.